Hi everyone, it's Christina and um, Indy, she won't come off my desk. I keep throwing her on the floor and she keeps coming back up. So, I guess you can look at her while I'm talking. Um, okay, so this video is a bunch of little projects that I've been working on. I've been wanting to send out some happy mail for a very long time. And I'm finally getting, you know, back into my craft room and making things and, you know, being happy again. Um, so, yeah, so I've already done a whole bunch of videos and I'm just sort of, I'm going to try and put them together so it's not, you know, so they, so they blend really nicely together. That's what I'm trying to say. I want the videos to blend nicely together. Might not happen, but we'll see where it goes. So the next video you're going to see is I've got my table all set up here and I'm making some lotions and potions. No, I'm not making lotions, but I'm making some potions and things. So yeah, see you. Yeah, you'll see. All right, so another thing I'm going to make for my Happy Mail boxes is stamp cleaner. And I made this stamp cleaner years ago. I know I did a video on it, but I'm going to do it again. And all you need is a tablespoon of baby shampoo, and then one tablespoon of glycerin. Let's see if I can do this without spilling. And another tablespoon of glycerin. And I'm using glycerin and rose water. Then I'm going to fill it with some distilled water, which I have this huge jug here. And that's probably about, I don't know, four or five ounces. And that's that. I'm going to put the lid on, shake it up. All right, so now I think I'm going to make a label for it. So I bought these chalkboard labels at the dollar store. And with my Stampin' Up! Stampin' Chalk Marker, I'm going to write Stamp Cleaner. And then I'm going to stamp A, like A in Canada. I don't say A. Not sure why. I never really said A. I'm sure I have, but I don't say it very often. But I'm going to go Stamp Cleaner A. Huh? I'm just going to make, I don't know, two, three, four of those, and that'll be ready for Happy Mail. Now I ran out of these chalkboard labels, so I'm going to make, or I made, a little uh, a label here out of letters. Number one stamp cleaner! Now obviously that's going to come off every time you hold on to the bottle, so I went to the post office and bought this heavy duty tape that's going to go right over the label. Okay, came out a little wrinkly, a little wonky, but good enough. And then the next thing I need to do is I'm going to buy a few of these containers. These are those Huggies Wipes containers. I'm going to buy a few of those. Then I'm going to go to the hardware store and get some of these. These are paint edge trimmers. And then I'm going to put a few of those in there. And then this I'll include the cleaner. And, and how I use these little guys is see this is mine I'm almost out so I need to make myself some more is I just squirt some of the cleaner onto the pad and then clean my stamp when I'm done with it and that's it how's that eh okay now I'll show you something else I'm working on okay so the next thing I'm gonna make is poopery spray or 
poop spray and I found some cute little labels online poop cover-up spray if you don't know what poop spray is um, you know how in some toilets you have you see some matches in there and after you go poop um, you you know maybe you're embarrassed because it smells and you light a match and takes the smell away right well you make a little poop spray the natural kind and you could keep this in your purse you know um, you know you're going out for dinner and uh oh and you go to the bathroom and uh oh it smells and you spray this in the toilet first then you make your poop and the essential oils in here kind of um, is like a barrier on the water and it just um, yeah, kind of covers up the poop smell. Alright, so I'm going to uh, make some. And I've got my glass jar here and in here and i got my distilled water. Normally I like to use these colored bottles because um, when you put essential oils in um, a, bo a light colored bottle like this, the um, essential oil will lose its effectiveness, but I don't have any sprayers for these, so I'm just going to make them in little ones, and these bottles will be used up in no time. So, here's my glass jar, and I'm going to add some glycerin. About add about half a teaspoon, and another half a teaspoon. Oh no, and another half a teaspoon, because I'm making three bottles. And it's vegetable glycerin that I'm using. Then I'm going to put in my essential oils. And I like, my favorite is bergamot, grapefruit, and lemongrass. But today, because I don't have any bergamot, so today I'm going to be using grapefruit, lemongrass, and rosemary. So I'm going to do lemongrass. And I'm going to do about 20 drops. And because I'm doing three bottles here, I'm just going to add a few extra drops. And there's tons of recipes for this on Pinterest or just just Google make your own poop spray and you'll get all kinds of recipes I'm gonna add rosemary 10 drops and grapefruit Then I'm going to add some distilled water and I'm going to add six ounces. And I'm too lazy to go upstairs and get my little funnel. And I'm too lazy to go get a spoon, so I'm using my bone folder. <laughs> to stir my concoction here. I feel like I'm in a science lab. Now I'm going to put my label on. Too bad we didn't have smell smell a vision there we go and there you go spray it on the toilet sit down do your thing and flush and you'll come out and everyone go Ooh, it smells so nice in the bathroom. <gasps> Alright, the next thing I'm going to make is cuticle oil. 
and I've got sweet almond oil, I've got grapeseed oil, I have vitamin E oil. What I don't have here and I like to use is jojoba oil. And all of these are very nourishing and hydrating for the cuticle. And the essential oils I'm going to use are lemon, lemongrass, and rosemary. And the lemon is good for fighting bacteria. The lemongrass helps strengthen the nail. And the lavender and rosemary are great for stimulating blood circulation and encourages nail growth. So I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to mix all of this in um, my jar here, my big Pyrex jar. Maybe I'll grab a smaller one and then pour it into these bottles. Oh. Okay, so in here I have got sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil. I don't have any jojoba oil, but I like to use this blend um, that's already mixed and it has jojoba oil in here um, and vitamin E. So instead of adding some of this pure vitamin E, I'm going to put a tablespoon of this in here. Or not quite a tablespoon. And it also has essential oil of sweet orange and vanilla in here. And then I'm going to add a few drops of rosemary. It's ten drops. And I'm going to mix this. Mmm. Love that. I love I love the smell of rosemary. And mix that up and then I'm going to fill my jars. Alright, so I finished all my goodies here. Poo poo spray. Uh, this label says stink away spray. And stamp cleaner, eh? Then I found these cute little um, cards online the free printable online. And if you hear TV in the background, that's because my show is on Wednesday nights. I like watching Arrow. And this says, There once was a lady so sweet who desired to be completely discreet. She was afraid to go poo whilst visiting someone she knew for fear her smell was far less than a treat. She thought and she fret till at last she decided to use the sweet smell of lemongrass to disguise the smell of her, well, you know. With this handy bottle of potty pourri, she now can poo when she has company. And then directions are simply shake the bottle and here it says six to ten squirts, but I think four, five, six squirts are good enough into the water in your toilet bowl before you pinch a grumpy. <laughs> so I am going to include those with that. And now I'm going to show you some altered uh, canvas pouches and canvas bags that are going to go with these gifts. Alright, so these canvas bags, I picked these up at Michael's and they had two sizes. These are the small and I picked up some um, large ones. And I used my glue gun and just did lots of layering of different, different lays. And this beautiful trim here, I love this trim. Thanks, Irene. She sent this in a rack that she gave me. And then the zipper, the end of the zipper, I also put some lace around it and some more trim. And uh, I picked this up at Michael's a long, long time ago. So just some of those wedding, these wedding flowers and lace. Then the second bag is, this one kind of is, I don't know, I guess you call it cream color lace. This one is more white. It's a handmade flower and some a sequence leaf. I use some gesso on these flowers and the leaf. And lots of layering of uh, um, lace. And then this is the large bag. So I did pink and cream lace. 
And this beautiful trim again. And this flower, I've had this flower for years. It came in a Happy Mail from Tina Hale, so I finally am using it. Beautiful center. Hi, Irene. Um, my very first rack I ever got from Irene, she sent um, these beautiful bling rings, and they make perfect uh, flower centers. And I just love these. Um, I think these were called uh, frog feathers, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, just all kinds of trim on here. I just love this And trim. then I bought these little can no these little cotton bags at I don't know where I got them I probably got them at Michael's in the dollar fifty bin a long time ago so same thing just lots of lots of layers of lace all around it uh, and lots of room inside for goodies okay so that's one bag this is probably my favorite I bought this old ch um, a children's dress at the thrift store and had beautiful trim all around the the collar and I just you know picked the dress up for like a dollar at the thrift store and then I cut all the trim off so it's very pretty and then this bag lots of beige trim or lots of beige um, lace and a homemade flower and some uh, seam binding here it's just so pretty with all the different layers of lace and trim and then one more bag because I made four and some seam binding and trim to make a little flower on the front. And what I did with this one, I should have done that, I could have done that, which I still can. This section right here where the string goes through, um, I can still put some trim or some lace around there. It's nice to cover that up. I did that here. I think it's really pretty. So I still might do that. All right, so that is what I've got so far, and uh, next I'm going to make these pocket folders. Okay, I just got a couple more projects that I want to show you, and the video is over. I, tr I really don't like to make videos that are longer than 20 minutes, so I'll make this quick. Oh, but first, first I want to ask, what color are my pens? What color? Put down, um, write it down in the comments what color you see here. Let me see. I'll just do it in different light. Let's see. Um, turn some lights off. Okay. All right. That little experiment is over with. Let's go to my project. Okay. I think last week I did... Um, a video of some Happy Mail and Eile in there she made me a pocket and she had put some tags in it so I had to make a pocket too. So this is out, done out of a file folder that I just, uh, let's see, I cut the bottom off and I cut the side of the file folder so this is probably about 8 inches by 7 inches. See there's the big tag. The paper that I used for this file folder pocket is by Prima and it's called Divine. It's a very, very pretty pack of paper. I did stitching all along the side. Here, let me turn it over. I stitched the sides and the bottom. There's the stitching there. I changed it. I did it sort of like woo 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 here and here I did it. Zigzag up the sides. And I used, I made, or I made a homemade flower, and there's different layers. I used this yarn here. Um, what's it called? I think it's called eyelash. Eyelash yarn, and I've got a couple layers of doilies there, and then some scrap doilies I glued in, and I cut out a flower with my punch, put a pretty bling in the center there, and then I have some white paper leaves that I um, painted pink and put some white gesso on them. And then the thank you is out of a new die that I just bought from Stampin' Up! and it's called, I think it's called, here I got it right here, it's called Hello You Thinlets Dies. And 
There's four of them in here. One says happy, thanks, hello, and you. So I just cut the S off on the thanks and glued it down to say thank you because this is going to be um, a thank you happy mail to a very special lady. And I've got um, a butterfly punch, so I put some, or I have two butterfly punches, so I just put the smaller one on top of the bigger one there with some stickles in the center. I got this beautiful butterfly in some happy mail from Irene, and it's so pretty. And then these little tiny crocheted butterflies. So I've scattered them all over. I've got one here, one there, and a couple there. And these images um, I found on Pinterest, they're free uh, uh, printables, and they're, very, they're beautiful. It's an 8.5 by 11 sheet of um, hearts and rectangles, and they're very pretty. And I've got the pocket, which I made a card, and I'll show you that in a sec. And then there's the back. So these are so cool to make. Got to make, gotta make more. They're just so perfect. I mean, you could even make one of these and stick a chocolate bar in there. And what a fancy way to grab, get a chocolate bar, huh? And then I made a card to match the pocket. Put it in a glassine bag. Love glassine bags. I made the front all pretty. And I used the same paper for the front of the card. Another homemade flower. Not that one, but this one. Different layers of lace and fabric. Um, and then I put some bling in the center of that flower. Use that vin free um, vintage printables again. Put the little, uh, I have a stamp by punching up. It's 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 a tab punch, so I cut that out, put that there. Another butterfly. And that's the back. And then the inside is like so. One more thing, one more thing, and I'm done. Another glassine bag, and this um, I made because of a post that Bona put on Instagram, and I was so inspired, that's it, I had to make it. So first of all, on one of her posts on Instagram, she made, um, I don't know if she's got um, one of these spool dies, or she made hers, yeah, I'm pretty sure she made hers from her, um, what's it called? From her envelope punch board. That's how these spools are made, from the envelope punch board. And then she, um, she's got um, another die set where I think it says vintage buttons or something like that. Anyhow, I just thought, oh, so cool, so pretty, Bona, I loved it. And I had to make something similar to it, obviously not exactly the same. So I used my envelope punch board and then made the spool. I think that's what it's called, a spool. And then I have um, a stamp set. And in the stamp set was that particular stamp that says Old Fashioned Design, 100% Pure and Vintage. Then I took a tag and uh, mod podged some vintage tissue paper on it. And then... Um, cut out from the divine paper actually the divine paper has one whole sheet of little they look like little stamps so I just took my zigzaggy scissors and cut all around it and then put some vintage buttons on there so and some seam binding up there and and these just these are um, these are like little clear pop dots underneath so these buttons come off pretty pretty easy so it's just a nice way to give somebody buttons um, instead of just sticking them in a little baggie or something like this, it's a very nice way to uh, send buttons. And then I put a whole bunch of um, die cuts. These these die cuts, I cut a whole bunch out and put them in the bag for a little extra gift. And then they go in this envelope. See, there's one of the dies that says, Hello! 
All right. Okay, now I'm done. Now I'm totally done. I hope I didn't go over too too much over 20 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed that and inspired you somehow to go in your craft room and make something. Thanks for watching, everybody. Love you all. Bye-bye.